Welcome back to Sleeper Barbecue. My name is Lance. I'm from St. Mary's County, Maryland. Today we're going to bring you another pot pie. We took a little bit of a break from them and uh, we're going to bring one back. We've been thinking about this one for a little bit. It just hadn't made time to make it, but today is going to be a uh, gumbo pot pie. I want to thank uh, Uncle Larry's for this uh, jar of his gumbo sauce, ready to make uh, sauce. Great. You want to see other videos? Check out, uh, check out Russ Jones with Smoky Ribs Barbecue. He's got one or two out. Um, Chuck with Niners Barbecue. He's got several of them out. So check it out. We're going to try it, put it to use today. And um, I think I'm going to be happy from what I've seen. So let me get things ready. And uh, we'll bring it back here in and out. And I do apologize if you hear the air conditioning unit running. It's in the 90s today, so um, I need a little bit of AC on me. We'll bring it right back. I think I'm going to go with the uh, no surprise, to be honest with you. The uh, Uncle Steve's competition bird shake. There it goes. So this is going to be some of this Uncle Steve gator shake on here. Sausage on here. It's already you know, smoked and ready. It's just a matter of warming it up. And then, of course, we're going to get our chicken on here. Give this stuff a little bit of a head start. The shrimps aren't going to take that long. But like I said, the uh, Got the sausage cut up and we got our chicken off. Just one thing to keep in mind, if you season your chicken ahead before you uh, before you grill it as I did, just don't put it on direct flame where you burn that seasoning up, then you're just defeating your purpose of getting that flavor from your rub that you're using. Alright, and the shrimps are on the barbie. Alright, the shrimps are off the grill. Pulled them a little bit earlier. Uh, early because um, you know they're still gonna cook once I get them in the pot pie, so um, they're ready to go. You can eat them right now. All right, as y'all can see, I got five pot pie shells. They're store bought pie crust that I roll out, but just to make it simpler, go a little faster for me. First ingredient is Uncle Larry's. Ready, set, gumbo. And I'm not gonna cook it down. I'm just gonna, I, I need this sauce to be as thick as possible. So I am not gonna cook it down. I'm not gonna add water to it. A thick consistency is what I'm after. All right, so into this bowl, we're gonna go ahead and put all of our chicken in there. I am probably not going to put the crab meat in there like that because it, it's claw meat and if you stir it too much it's just going to break up and just going to have a bunch of strands of crab meat, the lumps of crab meat. So let me get the uh, sausage in here next. Alright, here goes the sausage. I did take and uh, quarter them sausages up one more time. Alright. Shrimp into the party. Got you, but give ourselves a few stirs. All right, here is our day-old steamed rice from our local Chinese restaurant. Spoonful on each one. 
as you can tell, I'm going to have plenty. This gumbo mixture left, but that's okay. All right, here comes that crab meat. Hope I left enough room in these pans. I always do that. Come in here, and hungry, making something, and I never. Leave the appropriate amount of room to be able to finish something up. But we're going to see if we can make this work. All I'm going to do is just try and all right. I'm going to bring y'all in for the last one. This is how I do it, right or wrong. It's how I do it. So I'm just going to take some water. Get that top rim of this bottom uh, pie shell damp so that the top sticks to it. Again, I have this habit of overfilling everything, so then I deal with trying to make things work later. But I'd rather have a full Popeye than one that's not so full. All right, y'all, we're in a hurry mode here. These took a little longer than I anticipated to uh, make. I'm going to go ahead and brush these down with some butter. Alright y'all, let's give it a try. I'm already happy that it's thicker than I was afraid it would. There it is, gumbo Popeye, good stuff. Right, I'm about to hurry this up y'all, we're starting to get a crazy storm right now. Radio is saying expect severe weather. So that's where we're at right now, Popeye was out of this world, it did not disappoint one bit. The uh, shrimp grilled shrimp, grilled chicken, uh, the andouille smoked sausage that was grilled, the steamed crabs that were picked a couple weeks ago and, and froze and put back into this Popeye. And let's not forget, let's not forget the star of the show, Uncle Larry's gumbo ready to mix or ready to use gumbo mix. It's called Ready Set Gumbo by Uncle Larry's. Rocks. Fantastic stuff. I gotta get off here. Power's blinking, lights blinking. I'm Lance from St. Mary's County, Maryland. Sleeper Barbecue. Until next time, we hope you come back and uh, watch another video. Thank you.